Hi, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So today, what we're going to talk about is print servers. Uh, print servers are great little devices, because what they do is they allow more than one PC to connect to one printer. You can have as many printer or as many computers on your network as you want print from the same device. So they're fairly easy to set up as well. I'm not going to go over the actual wireless setup of this device. Uh, it's just the same as any of our routers or any of our other wireless devices. So I'm going to skip past that, that specific part of the installation and just focus on the actual installation of the printer. So uh, let's say you already have a printer and it's connected to your computer. It's fairly simple. All you have to do is disconnect from your computer and connect it into one of the four USB ports. This is the DPR-1260, so this one has four USB ports. This one might be good for a small business where, uh, you know, at home you may just need one USB port. Uh, so the only other thing you can do is, is you would connect it to power and connect it wirelessly, or you can connect it uh, wired if you uh, don't have a wireless network. You don't have to use it wireless. So that's all there is for the hardware setup. So let's go into the actual uh, software setup inside the GUI. Start by turning over your print server and identifying the MAC address. We will use the last six digits to connect to the print server's interface. Start by entering D-Link hyphen and then the last six digits of the MAC address we got from the bottom of the print server into your address line. This will take you to the print server's interface. Click Setup and then Next to start the wizard. Our printer is online. We can click Next and then we need to run the printer setup software. Move the little window just down just a little bit because some other stuff will pop up that you need to be able to click on. Once the print server has run this, it's going to ask you to make the printer the default print server. Once you do this, you can print a test page. Once the test page is printed, you'll know that you're good to go and that your print server is configured. So now that we've set up the printer, if you have a multifunction printer such as the one that we have here that has a scanner on it as well, and your uh, multifunction printer is compatible with the DPR-1260, you'll also be able to use the scanning features of this print server. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. To use the scanning features for your multifunction printer, select Scan from the top of the interface, and then Preview Scan to bring up whatever it is that you have on your scanner. Once you have it adjusted the way you want using all of the properties, then scan the image in just like you would on a normal scanner. And then you can... So that's all there is to set up a multifunction printer to work with the DPR-1260. Now D-Link sells a lot of different uh, print servers. We have parallel ones, we have USB ones, uh, we have single port ones, and then we have multi-port ones like the DPR-1260. So if you were to go to uh, www.dlink.com, uh, if you look in under products, under print servers, we have a whole assortment of them. You can find the one that will fit you specifically. Also, be sure to check support.dlink.com on that specific print server to see if it is supported, if your printer is supported. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.